In this video, I want to show you how I reach more Christians in one week than most churches do in a lifetime without a building, without music, without food, and without even a Bible. Years ago, there was a young pastor that came from a long line of pastors. His father was a pastor, his uncle was a pastor, his grandfather was a pastor, and he also became a pastor. And he was very effective in his communication, his delivery, people's lives were changed. He was doing phenomenal work in the community, uh, but he had one problem. He didn't have a lot of people in his congregation, so essentially he was challenged just from the basic perspective of keeping up the maintenance of the building, you know, the lights, the upkeep of the grounds and things like that. And so essentially he got frustrated and started to question if he was even fit to be a spiritual leader. Because in his mind, if everything that I'm teaching is so great and people's lives have changed, why is it more people coming to our service and to our congregation? Things got even more complicated for this pastor. He tried different community events. He tried billboards. He tried street evangelism. He even tried to go up to the local schools and develop relationships there, letting them know that he's there as available resource. He tried all of these different things and still did not produce the results. Now, if you've tried some of these things and even things that are similar to this, you can identify with this pastor. Over time, the amount of members that this pastor had in his church really started to impact him. It really started to affect his way of even interacting with those who support him throughout everything. It influenced how he even delivered his sermon, you know, on Sundays. And over time, he just started to get lower and lower and started to actually lose hope and started to even question more if he was fit to be a spiritual leader. And one day, as he hit rock bottom, if you will, that was the turning point for him in that rock bottom state that he was in was when he finally figured out the solution that was staring at him in the face all the time, but he didn't recognize it until that one day when he finally discovered what the turning point was and how to actually find those who are looking for him, those who are essentially lost. When he discovered this, everything changed and turned around for this pastor. Things started to drastically change around for this pastor. The moment that he looked online, and it was almost like the Holy Spirit led him directly to a place that can actually answer the questions that he had. And it was called frontpagebusiness.com. Because what this pastor understood is that even according to scripture, sometimes people won't receive you if they don't have a heart to be open to what it is that you're recommending. So the most effective way to reach people is to find those people that are looking for you. And he understood that as a believer and as a follower of the Bible, that the best thing for us to do is to lead the lost. So what areas are the lost looking in? Most people today are all searching on Google for anything, even spiritual advice, even churches. And so what this pastor understood that, listen, instead of me trying to go out and find people that I might get rejected from, let me put myself in a position to make me easily accessible to the lost so that they can find me to give them solutions to some of their problems. So when he finally discovered this and he finally put a video together and put his church on the front of Google in his specific city so people in his city or, or people that are visiting his city that are looking for churches, when they search on Google where everybody else is searching, his video will come up where he can personally tell them about his church and what it can do for, for them and how it can truly provide the things that they're looking for. Because he understood that not everybody has a website on page one of Google, but those that do, they all look the exact same. So when you put a video on page one of Google, he understood that this is gonna stand out as if you were reading the Bible and a picture of Abraham appeared in Genesis outside of the text. You're gonna focus on that. And so that's exactly what he did. As the CEO of Front Page Business, we've helped several organizations, different groups, and several businesses get their videos on the front page of Google. 
And the reason why I'm extremely passionate about this is because there's a scripture in the Bible in Matthew 7 where it says, Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth. He that seeketh findeth. And him that knocketh it shall be opened unto you. And there's been so many different experiences in my life where I've been knocking, seeking, and finding. And the solutions have not been quite clear in front of me. And so I'm very passionate about connecting those who are lost with those that have a solution to their answer together so that they don't have to search around finding, seeking and knocking and not getting any kind of answer. So I'm extremely passionate about that. And when it comes to the word, when it comes to the Bible, when it comes to somebody who's actually ready to give their lives to God, and actually go to a church nearby that can help and disciple them into doing that, I'm extremely passionate about making that connection. And so when it comes to the internet and when it comes to Google, we understand that it, it can be a double-edged sword. It can be positive and it can be negative. However, if we use video and if we promote the word of God from the perspective where the lost can find it easily, then we've actually expanded our territory and we've actually increased our talents so that at the end of the day, he says, well and good, you faithful servant, because we've taken our talents and multiplied them. So that's why I'm extremely passionate about helping people. Number one, create phenomenal video, but put it on page one of Google. So those that are searching for what they offer can actually find it. I want to encourage you to visit our website. And let us help you with the process of number one, creating a very nice professional video and putting it on the front page of Google. So when people that are looking for churches in your city, they find you because I want you to picture this. If people come to Google and you're not on page one of Google, but they see somebody else that are on page one of Google, what are you losing? What kind of talent, skills, ability might this person have that can expand and broaden your ministry that you might lose because they don't see you there, but they see somebody else? How many financial resources that this person could invest in your church to, again, expand it and broaden your ministry to even reach more people might you be losing out on as a result of not being on page one of Google? It's something to consider and it's something that I want to help you avoid. For some people, using the internet to reach more members and find more people that are searching for churches, it can be uncomfortable because they're not familiar with it. They've never done it before and they've never seen it done before. But there are also people that get it. They instantly see the value in it. They see how they can reach more people. They see that most people are already on the internet. So why not go where the people are already searching? Those people, they get it. But for those who still have some questions and concerns, I want to offer a guarantee to you. My guarantee from me to you and my company, and we stand behind everything that we do, is that we guarantee that we can get you on page one and have you dominate the competition for the attention of those that are searching for churches in your area. That is our guarantee. Because again, when it comes to an image, people's eyes immediately go towards an image. So if you're on Google and you see all of these different websites, all of this text, it all looks the same. But when you see an image in the middle of that, your eyes immediately go to that. It is the light essentially. And so if we are called to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth, this is a prime example of how we can actually do that on the internet and be that light that draws the attention of those who are lost and looking for a church in your area to you. So I want to encourage you, go to our website and visit us and let's start that process so we can actually help you get on page one of Google and help those who are looking for you to find you a little bit easier. And you can also give us a call, 210-374-7017. Or you can visit our website. But either way, we look forward to hearing from you and discussing how we can help.